Merry, merry gentlemen. Tired of pretending it's what you always wanted. It's you been friend at Christmas. the show. And you're on. Action! <laughs> that looks like a nasty stain. Must be a scary slope. <laughs> and welcome to sledding. That feels tough, eh? <laughs> and you're welcome to it. <laughs> Meanwhile in Swaffham they collect the snow up and sell it to film companies for when they need it in winter scenes. And it's a good harvest this year. <laughs> Try and get it in the bag, mate. All right, Wayne's going to cut the uh, tree. Go on then, Wayne. <laughs> My mum's hair does a similar thing when she takes off her sweatband. Pow! Oh, my God. A little bit of frizzies on that. For one little girl, the magic of Christmas ends. Now. And Daddy compounds the problem by dragging Rudolph's lifeless body back for a final goodbye. Awkward. <laughs> Juggling with baubles is a dangerous game. No wonder the Christmas tree looks nervous. Trees believe that every time a bauble breaks, a snow leopard dies. <laughs> Not sure why, but there you are. Ah, the gingerbread house. Send it to Rowley from India. <laughs> you sure you got enough sugar on that? No wonder the hamsters who live there have got diabetes. <laughs> Yeah, well done. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Homeless diabetic hamsters. Some Christmas is going to be for them. This year, Christmas tree wrestling is very big. That's it. You show that tree who's boss. Well, no. The tree's got him pinned. He's going nowhere. A one, a two, a three. Game over. Tree wins. Music <laughs> now, and let's not forget the real meaning of Christmas. Accidents. Candles burning. Let's have a musical. Let's have a singing like Brian Ferry. Everybody! Up goes the weasel! Oh. <laughs> you guys ready to open it? Yes! Fathers for justice, eh? They're certainly ingenious when it comes to getting to see their kids. Especially when you bear in mind the Christmas post been at the sorting office for three weeks because his wife didn't go to pick up the parcel. <laughs> On your side. What's the must-have Christmas gift this year? Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. <laughs> Everybody, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. <laughs> Yay! Now start popping it. <laughs> President Assad of Syria here in happier times. Hello, boy. Come on, Go on, About to use his present from Obama. <laughs> Get the 
the message, mate. Bit of politics, bit naughty. My name's Ben Elton. Good night. She's just got tickets to see Justin Bieber. <laughs> An understandable reaction. I was the same when my tickets came through. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'll see you there, sweetheart. Yes, we can chat during the four hour wait for him to come on. <laughs> Let's hope he's got his monkey with him this time. Ooh, what's in there, Bella? I tell you what's in there, another Christmas ruined. What do you think? <laughs> Who could possibly be scared by Carrie the Possessed Car? I am Carrie the Possessed Car! Happy Christmas! I like those. Aren't those awesome? Mm, not so much. Where's the migraine tablets? <laughs> yes, they grabbed the remote by mistake. <laughs> Judging by the hysterical reaction, the telly's been stuck on Channel 5 for a month. Now be careful when you open it, George. The phrase George Michael says to himself every time he approaches a car door. Mm, not sure what it is. Some sort of contraceptive device, I imagine. I love that Geordie accent, don't you? Why they couldn't understand Cheryl Cole in America is beyond me. Give her another chance. Ian Duncan Smith got this machine to cure his baldness for Christmas. Gets the blood pumping to his head. Well, that's the theory. All right, Ian, keep your hair on. I don't know the length some people will go to to avoid paying out for a Chrissy Prezi. Problem is, if they don't like this one, they can't take it back and change it. We're three months along. You get to have another grandbaby. Look out, it's the invasion of the zombie grandmother. Bubble rat. Bubble rat. John Barrowman's and the man who delivered the Nintendo Wii is still there demonstrating it to John at his request. <laughs> You've broken it. Now you'll have to deliver it all over again. <laughs> who remembers Michael Parkinson? Well, here he is. It's 7 p.m. on Christmas night. The Avocar and Baileys have worked their magic and he's dancing the night away with his carer, Louise, in the dormer window in the roof of his flat in Basel. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. They still got it. She's got what she always wanted. A glowing green space opera. She didn't want anything else. On a letter to Sandra, it said, One glowing green space opera, please. And now she has it to treasure for always. After Grandad's had a go, of course. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. This far in the nativity place, well, they're here at last. Hallelujah.
Oh, you've been friend of Christmas. <laughs>